When should you protect your team? In short, the answer is always. Now, if your team is underperforming, if you've made mistakes, errors, you need to address them. You need to own them. You need to publicly apologize. You need to publicly take that burden and put it on your own shoulders. And then obviously go internally to address the procedural, personnel, training, tools, technologies, whatever failures that may have occurred. But don't allow anyone to go out there publicly bad-mouthing your team without challenging that position and that stance. If you're hearing that someone is doing that, whether they're your peer or not, they're complaining, let's say it's a peer of yours, and they're complaining to a third colleague, or they're complaining to their boss, who could be your boss as well, right? It is something that you need to find a way to address. Approach them, schedule time to meet one-on-one -on -one individually behind closed doors, and say, look, I know that maybe we're not the best at X, but I've heard that you're repeatedly saying A and B. I would like you not to keep saying those things because it negatively impacts the performance, collegiality, relationships, morale of my folks. So what can we do to be of greater value to you and your team? How can we get better? And provide ways to improve and build upon this relationship for the benefit of the entire organization, the entire company. However, if this individual keeps bad-mouthing you or your team, but never says anything to you directly, it's always behind your back, and you've made efforts to stop this and focus on solutions and a joint collaborative path forward, at some point be prepared to face them and meet them head on. In some instances, this could get ugly, it could be public, but you as a leader of your team need to be prepared for that, right? Never get down to a personal level, no name calling, no profanities, no anger, screaming, yelling, threats, none of that. All of that is inappropriate and unprofessional. But if somebody is repeatedly bad-mouthing your team, you might be forced or placed into a corner where your only way out is forward and sometimes swinging forward. And I mean that in the sense that you may have to publicly have the conversation which you've already had privately and say, hey, Joe or Jane, I've heard from a dozen people that you're badmouthing this group of people. Could you please stop? And if you have an issue, you know they're my team, please come to me and let's resolve it. I think that's the adult and professional thing to do. You going around bad-mouthing these three, five, seven, 90 people is not helpful and not productive and not in service of success of this business. So be prepared to protect your team. At the same time, when you're wrong or you're underperforming, be also prepared to step in front of everyone and take one on the chin, apologize, own the problem, and work on solutions so that these types of issues do not repeat. As always, if this is the first video you see, please consider, consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, leave your thoughts below this video on the topic I just covered. Have a wonderful day.